Hi there and welcome back to Persia in EU4. We're playing our Shahanshah Haidar, the first of Karakoyunlu, because this is our dynasty. We were Karakoyunlu one time, and now we're expanding east to Afghanistan, to the snowy mountains of Afghanistan. They're terrible terrain, but yeah. What can we do? We like mountains. We like to be on top of things. And so let's continue our campaign here. We've just made peace with Transoxiana. They offered us a peace and we took it. We have protests in Semnon. So men of great spiritual strength, but also firmly part of the establishment, members of the Ulima sometimes choose to join social protests. A recent altercation between the local garrison and the urban population in Semnan have attracted the attention of prominent Mufti in the state of Iraq, Yajam. Our local commander fears the situation might escalate unless we listen to the protesters, but doing so would come at some cost. How oh, well. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's probably righteous. It's probably just to help them. So we'll do that. Let's let us compensate the people of Semnon. It's just money. It's just money. And we need to be just. The Pope is no longer infallible. Well, we knew that. Who is the Pope? Who is the Pope? He doesn't even have Constantinople anymore. That's f in firmly in the hands of our great friends, the Ottomans. Look at that. They're at war with Russia again. And Russia is on the winning side? How can that be? That must be randomness. Pretty sure of it. Actually, we would need someone better here. The White Ram, probably. And... Here in Afghanistan, we can go with a Grey Ram. We need to um, do away with these Afghanistan armies of Nazotoki here. To help Shervan fend them off. Because Shervan is uh, very busy occupying Afghanistan. So we are going to help them. Are they moving to Kirkassia? Okay. Actually, I love the new AI movement. It's crazy good. A battlefield medic. Hmm. Look at that. Very soon we'll have the next fortress coming. Oh, we don't need... We don't need that anymore. So they're moving into Persia. Well then. It's time. It's time for the decisive fight against 1,000 Afghanistanis. And you? You're moving to Humkala. Humkala, Humkala. Can you just stop them of Ottomans? Ah, uh, oh, there's Khorasanis. Maybe we can get them. Everyone's occupying Afghanistan. I love it. How is it going? Yeah, 8 plus 8. Oh my god. We need plus 10 to be ticking. They're staying there. Well, okay. Let's 
I don't know, send an infantry and a cavalry over there. Siege of Roe is finally over. We'll go here and we'll go Moulton. We also had war with Moulton? No. Yeah, we got to move this way. Actually, I actually want you to move here and you to move this way. Or we could move into Ladakh. Might be wise. I don't know how big Ladakh's army is now, but... How big can it be there, like Tibeti territory? It's pretty the corpse, though. The strain that military lifestyle puts the men who serve under can good uh, can under good circumstances lead to the development of a spirit of belonging and cooperation that greatly strengthens the armed forces during the recent conflict with Khorasan. We have seen clear signs that our troops are working better together, and that they have formed strong bonds of loyalty and duty to the Persia crown that would have seemed hard to imagine just a few years ago. This is what separates the Persian troops from all other. These are the reforms we need, right? Oh, look at that. Our Mamluks back with their terrifying generals. They are moving to Sarai. Is that Sarai? No. Moving into Sarai. Ooh. I really don't like that. We need to stay here. We need to watch this. Sarai. Rin. Moving over here. There is a Ladakh army. I need to try and help. It's okay, you can go to Baltistan. Sherwin's waiting here. Where are you going with your cavalry? To Rin, are you mad? The Khorasanis are moving there. How much do we need to occupy this? Two. I don't know. Oh, that's so terrible. The golden ram and who is here in the middle of the park? Ahmad Day. Yeah, let's let's take Ahmad Day. And give him that thing to occupy. We can probably stop them with our army here. Cavalry is a little bit stronger than cannons in, in close fights. Oh, they have made it. They are moving away. Very nice. And you are moving to Sialkot. Very good. Russia. Russia is there. Russia is... Oh, look at that. Is Russia really beating back the Ottomans? How can that be? Come on. Yeah, they are losing against Russia. Korea and Senwi and Korea. What? <laughs> We've got Baltistan now. Good, good. These guys are moving where? Nowhere, really. Well, let's move nowhere then. Kashmir. Oh, good, oh, good. Kashmir has a fortress? No, but Ladakh has. Well... It's okay. We'll move to Kashmir. It's easier. 
also there's uh, good shawls there. Shawls, sh I don't know. Border frictions. Oh my god. We need to put a positive spin on things to our ally Mazandran. Keeping them down here. Oh. Let's build some armies. Uh, you're moving. You're moving nowhere. All right, that's good. No one has won enough battles. <laughs> We're so close, but we haven't really won enough battles. Well then. Look at that. Russia is beating back the Ottomans. There might be hope for us. On the other hand, there's now Russia instead of the Ottomans. Is that good? Probably not. But together with the Ottomans, we can surely beat the Russians, right? We've got Kashmir now, and look at that. They are going to... Where? Maral Bexi, Chagatai, Karnat Noble Regiments. And you are... Moving to Ngari. All right, then... And we'll move here. Ah, Mazandran is doing the rest. <laughs> and Afghanistan is waiting here. Oh, well. Diet held is over. And we should be in a, in a good state, right? Local tax increase. If our local provincial governor has skillfully used his authority to increase the tax base in his province in Tbilisi. Good, good, good. Very good. <gasps> wait, 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 what? You're hopefully not moving there, are you? Oh, you're moving the other way round, that's good. Ah. Uh, <laughs> they're moving back to Nogai. You're moving here. Well, that might be good. Yeah, we'll we'll have to wait it out. Just a little bit. Stalling on one side and uh Odishi is under Afghanistan control. Oh, yes, here. Now they're moving to Goria. Well, it is as it is. We're going to improve our troops and then... We'll take all of that back and more. Hmm. What a war. Aha, now they are at the fortress here. Actually, you guys, can you move here? All of you? Sixty-six percent. Ah, we need to get that war score ticking. Twelve K now. 
should be good. Now we're taking back that thing. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. We could actually take an idea. The question is... Better than naval professionalization? Yeah, I think it is better. Let's see. What can we take? Foreign embassies. Diplomacy. Diplomacy is a delicate art of trying to balance several sides at the same time. If we maintain embassies in other countries reporting to us on a regular basis, then we will have the information needed in order to ponder our opinions. Plus one diplomat and... Persian ideas advance. Encourage art. There is a huge cultural tradition of art in the lands of the Persians. From a government perspective, this is the stuff that people want to buy. That's the miniatures. Encouragement of art will give our merchants more things to sell abroad, boosting the wealth of our nation. Prestige and production efficiency will help us greatly. Well, not especially against these guys here, but in general it will help. Come on, 49%. You can do it, I'm sure. Going on here. There's the Mazandrani. Uh, there's that siege specialist. Wow. Singye Foka of Ladakh. But Ladakh has lower military level. And we have made it with Brabant. Yeah, it has the right color, as as we as we said. Let's take him back and naval race versus Russia. <laughs> yeah, the giants, the giants. I mean, that could. What is our naval force limit? Oh, we're at twenty-eight. You know what? Let's go for that. Naval race versus Russia. That's pretty good. That's pretty great. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, build some frigates. Oh, 35. We've won the Siege of Astrakhan. And you're moving through here. Very nice. Sarai. They're moving to Sarai. The step. Well, we'll stay here, just, just in case. Can we reach them? Maybe we can reach them, then that would be really good. Maybe we can do it. You can do it, guys. You can do it. Ladakh has a piece of her for us. Uh, will give us war reparations. And nothing else. Yeah, why not? It's okay. We don't need Ladakh. We don't really need Ladakh. It's okay. The Suleiman range. Can make our way back. Should be able to do this. Come on, you can do it. Stop it. Don't. Don't take the fortress. Oof. Shh. 
should be able to do this, in theory at least. And if we win that battle, that might bring us to ticking. Oh, <laughs> Oko the third of East Frisia is the Holy Roman Emperor. Again, Oko. Now, Nasotoki. <laughs> now we have the better terrain. We have some bigger troops and we have dice rolls. Our army of the White Ram is doing gloriously good. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That's what you do to win. They are arriving in Guria. Let's move to Guria. And Ardabil is helping. Taking back the province. Now, do we have a Tiki War score? Yes! Yes. Our troops, this glorious man of battle, have went to secure a total victory. Now we're at a severe disadvantage, but they have no morale. My god, what, what rules they have. Still they are eliminated. They're fleeing. Moving away like madman from this land. That they cannot control anymore. And so close before the final win. We say thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. See each other in the next episode when we close up this successful campaign of war.